guys, Dr. Cam here. Welcome to your second Kin Stretch class. Today we're going to be focusing on hip 90-90 like we did last week, but with another layer. Kin Stretch practice probably has a million different layers, a million different permutations that we can apply. But as long as you can recall those uh, applications and um, the structure of the practice of taking slow controlled engagement, engaging and irradiating our body nice and tight, the concepts of tails and rails as we talked about last week. As long as you apply those concepts through my direction into the practice, it really doesn't matter what the moves look like. Just take them into what we're doing today and then you'll feel all sorts of buttery yumminess into your hips. Today's practice is again going to focus on 90-90 external internal rotation. We're adding internal rotation on the back leg this time to help transition ourselves into the position that we were in last week. Meaning, if you can recall last week we were doing this 90-90 position, right? So we worked on the lead leg to increase external rotation and controlling ourselves from the top position down to the bottom position. However, what I did last week was to work on the opposite leg, you know, I just let myself go, right, to get into the same position. What we're going to do this week is we're going to transition and work on that lead leg like we did last week, but to transition to this back leg so I'm facing the opposite direction, I'm going to work on the hinge of external rotation of this back leg and then internal rotation external rotation internal rotation so that's what you have to look forward forward to and the concept as i'm externally and internally rotating with this leg same thing as we talked about last week good irradiation squeeze your belly tight squeeze all of your tissues nice and tight if you have trouble remembering i ask you to scroll up Go back to that first video and just a side note, I pulp my apologies for last week's video. I'm still trying to get used to um, technology and so I didn't realize my laptop wasn't the greatest, it didn't have the greatest camera. So I upgraded, here we are on my iPad, hopefully it looks clearer. So before we get started, we're going to again start with cars. Cars is our warm up, calling and meaning as controlled articular rotation. We want to use, again, slow controlled rotational movements at the outer layer of our joint range of motion to, again, teach our brain about what all this stuff at the deepest layer of our body, the joint, teaching it what it feels like to have essentially controlled motion. When our motions are controlled, our movements are happy. Our movements are happy the less likelihood we'll get injured. So, we're gonna start with cars like we did last week, cars for the hip. The only difference that we're gonna do with our cars today is we did two car motions with our leg coming up, out, internally rotate, back in. This time we're gonna to continue to do that, but then we're gonna add it in the opposite direction. Um, before we actually get into the actual practice too, one thing I failed to mention was, again, with the radiation, you can actually use a few props at your disposal. Um, whenever we irradiate our body and we have an external source to squeeze on, it gives us more biofeedback to our brain such that we can feel something actually squeezing. So before we actually get into the practice, you can pause this video. If you have any sort of tennis balls, lacrosse balls, um, I recommend, I like to use a yoga block to help squeeze. Um, you guys are basketball players, basketball would be a good thing. Just make sure it's pretty, pretty pumped up all the way. Um, and yeah, so let's have fun. Okay, so we're gonna start with cars. If you want, you can take your lacrosse ball, tennis ball object and you could place it on the back side of your knee and kind of squeeze it. This is going to give you more conscious feedback of squeezing all this backside tissue as we do our cars with our hip. All right. So 
So once again, toes are going to be tucked under. My hands are going to screw drive the floor, spread the sh uh, shoulder blades back and down. I'm going to take a deep breath in, pack that air into my belly, <clears throat> get nice and tight, and slowly with control, I'm going to pull my knee up towards my chest as far as I can. Freeze right there. Now think like a dog peeing on the fire hydrant. Slowly with control, bit of radiation. Think about 60-70% uh, of radiation. Pause right there. Outside of my ankle, comes towards the ceiling. Sole of my foot, towards the ceiling. The knee comes towards the midline. Knee comes towards the midline. Knee comes towards the midline. Give me one more rep. Pull that knee into your chest. I know, I'm working with you. Freeze right there. Out to the side. Feel. Monitor where you're getting sticky points. Freeze right there. Outside of my ankle. Towards the ceiling. As the knee comes towards the midline. Squeeze. 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 Squeeze that ball if you have it in the back side of your knee. And reverse this time. So now... Like we're going to kick our heel up towards the ceiling. Again, different layer. Now, knee out to the side as you pull the top of your knee into your armpit as you complete that circle. Nice and slow. Kick the sole of your foot towards the ceiling. Squeeze that ball if it's behind your knee. You don't need to use it. I just am kind of crazy. Now, outside of your knee, towards you. Outside of your knee, towards the ceiling. As your knee comes in towards your armpit, inside of your knee comes in towards the midline. And relax, shake it off. Whew. I know. Again, take a pause. Feel how that hip feels compared to the opposite side. Opposite hip. If you have the ball, a lacrosse ball, I don't recommend one of these types of balls. If you can see it, it kind of has spiky edges. I don't re I recommend that. Something nice and smooth. But this is all I have right now. Okay. Off the leg. So, I'm going to pull my knee, or my ankle, towards my butt. Palms are pushing down through the floor, like two gas pedals pushing down. Opposite toes are going to be tucked under. Good irradiation, shoulder blades back and down. Big breath in. Pack that air into that center line in my core. Squeeze that center line of my core and permeate that contraction throughout my body as I slowly, with control, pull my knee up towards my armpit. Freeze right there. Outside of your knee. Comes towards the ceiling. Freeze right there sole of my foot comes towards the ceiling as well as my inside of my knee comes towards the midline think like you're tracing a circle with the tip of your knee slowly with control give me one more rep knee in dog peeing on the fire hydrant think of your femur like a rotisserie spit as you internally rotate this is the hardest part slowly internally rotate Inside of your ankle towards the center line. I know, me too. As you pull your knee back to the starting position. Reverse. Sole of your foot comes towards the ceiling. Outside of your knee. Outside of your ankle. As it comes out towards the ceiling as well as you externally rotate. Knee comes in towards your armpit. Inside of your knee comes towards the midline. Squeeze it in. You're just tracing in a circle with the tip of your knee. Sole of your foot up. Give me one more rep. I lost count. Outside of your knee towards the ceiling. As you pull the top of your knee in towards your armpit. Squeeze. Squeeze. Fight for it. Fight for it. Knee towards the midline. Relax. <sighs> you know... Typically when I teach pin stretch um, with a person, or even when I'm recording these videos, I usually have a person to demonstrate and show upon. 
obviously with the unique times that we find ourselves in social distancing is required that we you know not come in contact so unfortunately i have to do this myself while i direct so i know what you're going through as you can tell by the my breath right now all right so what we're going to do um let me see here what we're going to do is we're going to work on the back trailing leg. If you can recall what we did last week, we did a lot of hinging from the hip coming forward. Actually, if you can see this, we did a lot of this hinging from the hip coming in and coming up, right? And so what we're going to be doing is that same type of hinge work of the back leg, right? But the concept, nice rounded spine, or extended spine, excuse me, shoulder blades are back and down, good irradiation through everything that's not moving, right? So, what this is going to look like. So, you can see, we want to do a lot of good external rotation and internal rotation. I'm just demonstrating you to you what it looks like. We want to make sure as we externally rotate and internally rotate that nothing else is moving throughout my body. Meaning, if you have a tennis ball, even a book to place under your lead leg to push down as you irradiate, if you need to stay back a little and kickstand, so you're gonna lean back for me. You're gonna take those arms. Again, screw drive the floor nice and tight. Shoulder blades are back and down, right? And then what we're gonna do, take a deep breath in. Drive this lead leg down through the floor. Shoulder blades are back and down, butt tight, stomach tight. I want you to think like you have a thousand pounds on the outside of your knee. What you're gonna do is you're gonna plant your toes in and then squeeze the side of your hip slowly with control. I know, squeeze it out, squeeze it out. It doesn't matter what I look like. And then we're gonna squeeze it down. We're gonna squeeze it down, squeeze it down, squeeze it down. All right, we're gonna do that. We'll see how well I feel today. So, big breath in. Pack that there into your belly like someone's about to punch you in the stomach. <clears throat> Arms are straight, shoulder blades back and down, lead leg pushing down. I'm going to kickstand my toes down, and I'm going to squeeze the outside of my hip slowly with control. Squeeze my hip open. Good irradiation throughout my body. Shoulder blades back and down. Everything's nice and tight. Lead leg is pushing through the floor. As far as I can, as far as I can, slowly with control close it down now the thousand pounds is on the inside of my knee as i'm trying to drive my knee slowly down towards the floor big breath in good irradiation <clears throat> nice and tight externally rotate up externally rotate up squeeze the outside of your hip squeeze lead leg pushing down squeeze nice tall spine chest is tall you're happy to be here i know it's monday let's go kin stretch day internally rotate down thousand pounds is on the inside of your knee as you're squeezing all of your inside tissue down squeeze all of your inside tissue down squeeze it squeeze it squeeze it relax relaxation's over big breath in radiate nice and tight i'm doing it with you let's go externally rotate externally rotate squeeze don't let this lead leg go down your front leg squeeze it up Squeeze it up, I know. Squeeze it up, squeeze it up. Internally rotate, internally rotate. Feel your hip do the work. Feel it, feel it. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Set it down softly. Big breath in. Big breath out. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Whatever.
whatever your inhale count is. I want you to double it on your exhale, make it longer. Just close your eyes for me. Deep breath in. Relax it out. Keep your eyes closed, keep your eyes closed. Relax your radiation. Now, here's the cool thing. If you did that, that deep breath in and out, and now your eyes are open, how does your body feel right now? Maybe you might feel a little bit less stress or a little bit less tension into that tissue stuff you just worked. The breath is our friend. The breath is our friend. We utilize it to help navigate the world. I'm always going to say this over and over and over until you guys get it. But the more you hear it, the more you get it into your brain, the more you can apply it. So we're going to do this same external and internal rotation with this leg. But as I said before, I'm just not going to haphazardly turn my body into a different position. I'm going to externally rotate this leg such that it's 90 degrees facing this way. And then I'm going to internally rotate this leg. So watch me first. So what we're going to do, same concept bit of radiation shoulder blades back and down so if you can't see me right now my spine is nice and tall if you're feeling pinchiness in the front of your hip what I mean by kickstand is leaning back I should have probably showed you this before but hey I'm learning how to direct as well online so we're going to do that same thing to come into the opposite position facing the opposite wall so again, as I said, you're going to lean back. If you have a ball in underneath your lead leg or a textbook or something to feel yourself squeezing that leg down, please utilize it. You don't need to. It just helps you get more feedback of your radiation. All right. I'm going to use my ball because I'm crazy sometimes. So I'm going to kick stand back. I'm pushing that leg down, big breath in, shoulder blades back and down, <clears throat> good irradiation, clawing my hands through the floor, planting my toes down, watch me for this first one, externally rotate, externally rotate, externally rotate, squeeze it, squeeze it as far as I can, externally rotate, externally rotate, it doesn't matter what I look like, externally rotate. Now I'm going to continue this external rotation with internal rotation of my now back leg. Now externally rotate, now back leg is slowly internally rotate, plant your toes down, slowly internally rotate, slowly internally rotate, slowly internally rotate. You see I'm in the opposite 90-90 now, right? Right, I just didn't haphazardly get into this position. I controlled my tissues into this position. So, <laughs> We're gonna do it. What I just did right there, that's not gonna stretch. Now we're gonna do it together. Big breath in. Pack that air into your belly. Ball is being crushed with your lead leg. Plant your toes down. A thousand pounds is on the outside of your knee. And squeeze that external rotation. Squeeze all of this side on side stuff, all these side muscles onto your hip as hard as you can. Squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, keep crushing that ball to the point where it needs to come up. Keep squeezing this lead leg down. Now squeeze a thousand pounds on the inside of your opposite knee now. Your lead leg is doing the work. Now your lead leg is becoming your back leg. Squeeze it down, squeeze it down, squeeze it down. New 90-90 position, good job. So, because we worked external rotation last week, you know, let's revisit it. We're going to, again, square our chest towards our lead leg. Nice, tall spine. And we're going to, again, lean forward, keeping that spine nice and arched. I'm going to lean my chest forward until I feel stretch on the back side of my hip. Remember, if I feel a pinchiness in the front, I've gone too far forward. 
back off on the angle. And you're just taking a few deep breaths in and out. We're going to be here for about a minute. Just relax. And I'm just going to give you a few coaching cues. If you have a yoga block, I know Coach Kyle told me you guys are going to get a foam roller soon, which is cool because it's another tool to give you feedback. You could use that yoga block. You could use that foam roller as a benchmark to do our pails and rails like what we did last week to show and squeeze ourselves deeper. Again, we want to make sure we're not rounding at our spine. We're hinging from the hip forward. But I'm not going to do it because you can't see me. But if you can utilize it, it's, it's a tool. It gives you more feedback to your brain. The more feedback we get, the more we're prepared. And just, there's no radiation. You're just relaxing, taking deep breaths. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breaths out. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do that pails and rails stuff that we did last week with the leg that we just worked on. So, this is something I want you to be conscious with in terms of taking it into your database. All that work that we did last week, and you can recall how challenging it was, ask yourself how it feels now, how it feels now this week after we did that external and internal hinging that we did at the start of our class, all right? So shoulder blades are back and down. I'm going to claw the floor nice and tight. Big breath in, irradiate my body nice and tight, and again, pales contraction. Everything from the outside of my leg is pushing down through the floor 20%. Slowly hold that for five, four, three, two, increase to 40% for five, four, three, two, 60% through the floor. I'm with you. Three, two, one, increase slowly up to 80%. I know, I'm working too. I'm sweating. Three, two, big breath in. Now as hard as you can, as safe as you can, to your maximal safest effort, 100%. If it's for you, go through the floor for a 10. Nine, eight, seven, pulse mine, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly turn down that volume of that contraction. Slowly turn down that volume. Now, quickly, rails contraction. Pull all of this inside stuff like you're trying to lift this leg up towards the ceiling. It's not going to come up. Squeeze it. Carry that contraction into your core as you hinge yourself forward. Pull yourself deeper into your stretch. Pull yourself slowly, slowly with control. This is active. This is active stretching. Squeeze, squeeze for five, four, 100%. Three, two, one. Relax. Woo. And just relax. We did it. Deep breath in. And the longer breath out. Deep breaths in. And a long breath out. Give me one more deep breath in. And a longer breath out. Good job. I'm going to be nice to you because we're adding layers to this. I want you to slowly push yourself up. No engagement. Slowly push yourself up. Slowly push yourself up. Slowly push yourself up. So, my question to you is self-monitor. How did that feel compared to last week? If you can recall, last week we just did external rotation work, 
right? But today, before we did this external rotation work, we did a lot of hinging of this leg going back and forth, back and forth. The question to you is, did it feel easier this week? It's okay if it didn't. Again, it's a practice. Everything's a practice. Now, like I said before, and I'll say it again, we have two appendages, we have two legs. We're gonna have to do the same thing on this backside now. Okay. So, again, we're gonna lean our chest away from this hip. Arms are gonna be behind us, like a kickstand. This leg, if you have your tennis ball, lacrosse ball, a small book, I'm gonna use a book this time, just to feel against, place it underneath your lead leg. Again, irradiate, irradiate, irradiate is the name of the game. So, what we're gonna do, shoulder blades are gonna be back and down, lead leg is pushing down through the floor. I'm gonna take a deep breath in, pack that air into my belly, <clears throat> like someone's punching me in the stomach, feel that contraction spread down through my legs, spread up through my chest, down my arms, as I think of a thousand pounds on the outside of my knee, and I kick stand up, squeeze the outside of my hip as I slowly externally rotate up, slowly externally rotate up, slowly externally rotate up, as far as I can, don't let that lead leg go up, as I slowly internally rotate. Now the thousand pounds is on the inside of my lead leg. Squeeze it down, slowly. Squeeze it down, squeeze it down, squeeze it down, squeeze it down. That's rep one. Rep two, big breath in. And radiate our body. Externally rotate, externally rotate. Squeeze the outside of your leg. Squeeze the outside of your thigh, the outside of your hips. Keep your lead leg down, squeeze, 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 internally rotate. Now the thousand pounds is on the inside of your thigh. Squeeze that down, crush it. Don't let your entire body move. Only the femur and the hip and the shin and the foot are moving. Big breath in, rep three. Externally rotate, squeeze. I'm with you, I'm with you. It's supposed to be hard. Don't just go through the motions. Feel the motions. We want to feel. The more we feel, the more our brain is happy. The more our brain is happy, the more our body's happy. Internally rotate. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. A thousand pounds on the inside of the knee as you're driving that inside of that thigh down. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Lost count. Let's do one more. We're here. Big breath in. Give me your best one as you can. Shoulder blades back and down, lead leg down. Externally rotate, squeeze that hip open. Squeeze that hip open. Don't let that your opposite leg move. Squeeze that hip open, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. We're gonna come into internal rotation. Come in into internal rotation. Squeeze, squeeze it, squeeze it. I know, I know, it's supposed to be challenging. Take a deep breath in and a longer breath out. Deep breath in. Fill it up and a longer breath out. Give me one more deep breath in. Close your eyes and a longer breath out. your eyes closed. Now think of all that external and internal work that you just did on the leg that we just worked. It was probably talking to you. It was probably even screaming at you in that moment. How does it feel right now after you took those deep breaths? Again, the breaths are friend. I'll repeat this over and over and over until it becomes consciously into your mind. So what we're gonna do is 
we're going to come into the, our starting position of this leg being at 90 degrees and our torso facing the opposite direction. So shoulder blades back and down, good radiation into our body. Big breath in, pack that air into your belly, <sighs> lead leg pushing down, a thousand pounds on the outside of your knee as we externally rotate, slowly, with control, squeeze, I'm here, squeeze, 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 to the point where your other leg has to come up, squeeze your lead leg down now, squeeze this knee, a thousand pounds on the inside of your knee, squeeze it down, feel it, feel it, feel it, now my torso is facing our starting position at the square clock. I'm going to shimmy myself so that you can see this hip. Stay where you are. Again, just a recap of last week. External rotation of this femur. Nice tall spine. My pelvis is rolling forward, keeping extension into my lumbar spine. I'm going to lean my chest forward until I feel a stretch on the back side of my hip. Again, if I feel pinchiness on the front side I've gone too far forward we don't want that deep breaths in and out let's revisit our external rotation that we worked on last week that I hope you worked on last week too it's okay if you didn't I know it was challenging I also know that the quality of the video wasn't the greatest it's my apologies to you all right let's do our pails contraction now let's work Everything from the outside of our ankle to the outside of our shin is pushing down through the floor as I irradiate my body. So I'm going to plant my hands down like they're two feet pushing down on two gas pedals. Shoulder blades back and down. Big breath in. Pack that air into your belly like someone's about to punch you in your stomach. And 100% or excuse me, 20% through the floor for a five, four, three. Two, increase 40% through the floor, slowly increase it. Two, one, slowly to 60%. I'm with you, I'm with you. Slowly to 80%. I know, this is ramp four. We're just gonna do one rep. Slowly at your maximal safest effort, 100% through the floor. 100% through the floor for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five. It's the hardest thing you're doing all day today. Two, one, slowly turn that dial from 100, slowly down to 80, slowly to 60, slowly to 40, slowly to 20, to nothing. Beautiful. Now rails contraction. All of the inside stuff is pulling up towards the ceiling as your belly pulls towards your spine. Lean your chest forward. Squeeze yourself. Squeeze the knee up towards the ceiling, 100%, as hard as you can. Slowly come down, slowly come down. Squeeze, 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 and relax. Deep breaths in and out. If you're not as far as I am, understand it's okay. Mobility, flexibility. It's not a comparison. You gotta work on what you need to work on for you. Just like there's no real natural athletes. There's only athletes that put in the work. Of course, there's the 1%, but anything that we do requires work. If you want flexible, mobile hips, you're gonna have to do the work. If you can't relax down with your head onto the floor, or if you can't do the thumbs up grip your thumbs up with your opposite hand and relax your head down if that's not available to you again it's okay if you have a yoga block you can use your yoga block and relax your head down if you have and if that's not okay you could also use your elbows also if this is as far as you can get down with your rails that's okay too please it doesn't matter what you look like it just matters what you feel and just take a few more give me three more deep breaths in and out deep breaths in i'll do it with you 
Keep your eyes closed. Exhale. Deep breath in. No work, just breathing. Exhale. Deep breath in. Nice, soft exhale. Soft exhale. Good job, guys. So that was your taste of your Kin Stretch movement float for today. What we're going to do now is we're going to save that work like we save our work on our computer. Utilizing cars. So let's get into our quadruped position. This time, with cars again, at the end of our practices, we, we're going to use a decrease of intensity. Think 30-40%. If you don't believe that I'm doing the work, well, I'm obviously sweating <laughs> internally enough and wiping myself down, which is why I prefer directing these classes <laughs> rather than recording myself doing them. But, it's the name of the game for the unique time that we find ourselves. But, let's get into our cars. So, pick a leg, quadruped position, the leg that you're moving, the opposite toes are into the floor, big breath in, and again, 30, 40% max internal, uh, max tension. I'm going to pull slowly. I'm still towing slowly through the motion, but you know, I can talk a little bit easier because I'm not squeezing as much. Knee out to the side, like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. Just nice and slow, no crazy squeezing. Sole of my foot comes towards the ceiling as the inside of my knee comes towards the midline. Ask yourself, how does it feel to move your hip after you did all that work? Knee comes in towards your chest. Dog peeing on a fire hydrant, nice and slow. No crazy irradiation. Again, 40, 30%. Sole of your foot towards the ceiling as your knee comes towards the midline. Rewind. Now, sole of your foot comes towards the ceiling. As the outside of your hip comes towards, or the outside of your knee comes towards the ceiling as the top of your knee comes in towards your armpit. Give me one more. Sole of your foot. We're revisiting the new concept of cars. Up. Outside of your knee. Outside of your calf towards the ceiling. As the top of your thigh comes towards your armpit. Good job. Just four more to one way, to the other way, and then you're done. Take your lacrosse ball if you want to use it. If you have one, great. If you have a tennis ball, great. If you don't, that's okay. Planting your palm through the floor, screw driving. Again, 30, 40%. Opposite toes tucked under, shoulder blades back and down. Brace that belly. Again, 30, 40%. Slowly with control. Knee up towards your armpit. We're just doing work, saving our work. Outside of your knee, outside of your ankle, towards the ceiling. Sole of your foot comes towards the ceiling as well as your knee comes towards the midline. Take your time. Take your time with it. Knee in towards your chest. Don't rush through it. Outside of your knee, towards the ceiling, like a dog peeing on the fire hydrant. Now, like a rotisserie spit, spiral that femur internally as your sole of your foot comes towards the ceiling. Pull it into your chest. Two more reps in the opposite direction. Now, ankle, sole of your foot comes towards the ceiling. As the outside of your hip, outside of your knee comes towards the ceiling, slowly externally rotate. Knee comes towards the midline or into your armpit as your knee comes into your midline. One more. Sole of your foot up. 
supposed to be challenging. Squeeze that bum. Externally rotate. Squeeze the outside of your hip up towards the ceiling. Knee comes towards your armpit as the inside of your knee comes towards the midline. And shake it off. As I said during the practice, typically when I'm doing videos and whatnot, I have someone to do them and demonstrate on. Therefore, my ability to converse and direct how you're supposed to move is a little bit easier. As you can hear me, I'm kind of short of breath. So I understand it's supposed to be hard, it's supposed to be challenging. Of course, if you have questions, concerns, by all means, we're here for you. Send me a DM. I'm at Dr. Cam Bansel on Instagram. Send me an email. Coach Kyle has my information. Or even just add a comment at the bottom. Please give me feedback, whether good, bad, whether you don't understand anything that I'm talking about. Please, it's okay. We can get a dialogue going. The more you practice, the easier it gets. The easier it gets, the more basketball will feel easier to you as well. All right, guys. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for doing the work. And have a great week. Ciao.